In this video, we will show you how to customize the display of your items in SkewGrid. Once you are logged into SkewGrid, click on Settings. You will automatically be on the General Settings page, or you can click on the General button from any of the other Settings pages to arrive here. There are several options in your general settings that can be used to customize the look and feel of your grid. The first option is number of items per page. Here, select from the drop down how many items you would like for SKU grid to display per page. Naturally, if you have thousands of items listed, you will likely want to set it to 1000 items per page so that you don't have to go through so many pages when looking for things. Make your selection and save the settings. The next option that can be used to customize your grid is the stretch grid to full screen option. If you click back to my items, you will notice that there is a scroll bar at the bottom of your page and depending on the size of your screen, you might have to scroll to the right to see some of your options. The stretch to full screen option will make your grid fit to the width of your screen and take away the need for scrolling left to right. If you'd like to have your grid stretched to prevent horizontal scrolling, go back to your general settings and select yes for stretch grid to full screen and save the settings. You also have the ability to show or hide any of the columns on the grid. On your general settings page, click show the following columns in table. Here you can see a list of column headers that appear on your grid. You can simply put a check mark next to information you would like to see on your grid and deselect information that you do not want to see on your grid and save the settings. If you go back to your My Items page, you will see that the only columns you had selected are visible and the ones you unchecked are not visible. This allows the user to customize the grid to only show information that is important to him. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.